The Mounted Police Unit will once again be a common sight in the city of Kingston, consisting of Constable Amy Carter, along with her partner Mernie, a Percheron thoroughbred cross and backup horse, Henry. Murney um, and the Mounted Unit have been really part of our community since 1998 and 1999. So they've been here in our community for a long period of time. So there's lots of history and nostalgia here. And so their benefits are very much in terms of not just law enforcement, which can be done with respect to traffic stops and those kinds of things. And, but it's also for um, community building. And importantly, though, when we're working with our most vulnerable populations as well, those that uh, may mistrust the, the police not in some sense. And so there's a really unique bond between, you know, the, the animal and the rider and the community. When the news broke in November 2019 that the mounted unit in Kingston and beloved horse Murney wouldn't be returning the following spring, the community quickly responded through the collaborative fundraising efforts of the Downtown Business Association, the City of Kingston and community partners. The mounted unit will return to continue this unique Kingston tradition when uh, the budget for 2020 was proposed and uh, Murney was no longer in the budget, there was very much that outcry. So there was opportunities for fundraising. And so that was in 2020. And really the pandemic hit that year. No one could have predicted that. So the fundraising was, um, was limited in the first years. Um, and so we were able to have some fundraising, but we also had some of our um, uh, police auctions and a little bit from our budget came to, uh, to supply the, the total funds for the year 2020. And as a result now, the fundraising for 2021 and 22 was well underway. And by the end of 2021, we very much had um, the funding. So right now we've completed um, all the uh, payments for 2021 and majority of 2022. So we're looking for additionally another 32,000 from our community. The mounted unit is well sourced. It has its own owners, retired police and first mounted officers of Kingston, Brad and Deb Wicklam. With Brad and Deb's knowledge of horses, the stables to keep them in, and the equipment to train them, Kingston continues to have a unique situation, aiding greatly in the continuance of a mounted police unit. Not only is the situation unique, but so are the horses they choose to tackle the job. We like a horse that's tall. We like a horse that's got some substance, so big horse and we like the bone structure on these horses and a, a big bell-shaped foot on them so we have um, a good foundation. You look at personality as well. You want something that's not going to be aggressive, something that's not going to be biting or nasty with the public or yourself. For us, because we're working downtown Kingston on the hard pavement, we went to the same horses that Toronto police use. Until it comes to street work, the training of a police horse is much the same as the training of any horse, including building a bond, laying the groundwork, desensitizing, and saddle training. Every rider is different in, in training them, and every horse is different in training them. We start off doing ground training. Ground training, we try to introduce them and show them pretty much everything that we're going to do with them when we get on the saddle. Once you can get them so that they're walk, trot, cantering, go right, go left, back up, go forward. Then we move on from there to trail riding. Then from trail riding, we go to street training. And then from street training, we can do obstacle training. We do use of force training. By that time, you have developed a really good partnership with your horse. Constable Amy Carter started policing in 1998 and joined the Kingston Police in 99. After two and a half decades on the force, she has now become the new mounted officer. Her job will be the same as any frontline officer, except for a few minor differences. I will arrive on horse, and I'll have a much smaller geographical area that I would cover in my shift. Um, and I'm gonna be much higher than the other officers. Um, and you would see us uh, be called out for missing persons, some special events. Um, things like that. Public relations will be a big part of her role. A mounted officer attracts a lot of attention, drawing crowds everywhere they go. People love to meet and greet not only the horses, but the officers that ride them. I really want the citizens to come up and uh, meet myself being new. Um, Marnie is the familiar face on the road. So yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to connecting with the community and, and I'm a Kingstonian, so it's near and dear to my heart, uh, this city. and. 
yeah, I look forward to all the uh, opportunities that are going to come this summer. A professed animal lover, Amy early on had interest in becoming a canine officer. That didn't come to fruition. But now she finds herself being on Kingston's mounted unit. I have no formal training, um, so I rely heavily on Brad and Deb Wicklum, the owners um, and contractors to Murney. And um, so they train Murney and myself. Murney and Amy have been in intense training since April 11th. As true partners, they are also building a bond that includes complete trust and communication. I'm still working on, um, you know, being safe and all the skills that are required. Um, she's very, very trained up. Um, I'm being trained more so than Murney right now. Um, and she's very aid sensitive, so there's a lot to learn. Um, you just do not jump on a horse like this and, and uh, make yourself downtown. So I am just working on um, all the skills required to be a mounted officer. For WPBS Weekly, I'm Gail Pocket.